The first biasing scheme that we're going to look at is just our single base resistor biasing. And so this is the simplest case where all we're really doing is using a coupling capacitor to connect our AC source to our transistor circuit. And so I've got the simple diagram shown here. So a couple big differences between our previous diagram where we were looking at our, our previous circuit is you'll notice now our base resistor is connected up to VCC. So it's using the same power source as our RC or our collector side. And so what we're gonna see is if we have a large enough base resistor, we can still have our, our BJT in the forward active mode like we want for amplification. We now have our AC source, which is over here, connected to the base of our transistor via this coupling capacitor C sub C. And so if we sort of wanna know more what's going on with that coupling capacitor, we can just remind ourselves that the impedance for a capacitor is one over J omega C, or you'll also see that expressed as negative J over omega C. So from that, what we can see is if we have a large enough C and or omega, so large C and or frequency omega, then our capacitor is going to behave like a short circuit. So capacitor will behave like a short circuit for our AC signals. But of course, any DC signal, so any DC component of our current in our base, for instance, is going to be blocked by this capacitor because for our base current, we have zero frequency if it's DC. Uh, so of course, a zero there would be an infinite impedance. So it's allowing our AC signal to flow three, freely through that capacitor, uh, but blocking any DC signal. So what that means is ultimately in our transistor, we're going to have AC and DC parts of each of our currents or voltages. So using the notation that we described at the start of the semester, we're now going to have a lowercase parameter with an uppercase subscript. And again, that indicates in this case that we have some DC base current, IB plus some IC base, sorry, some AC base current, IB. So this would be our DC component, this would be our AC component, and this is a representation of the two of them added together. So similar thing for our collector current, so it's going to have a DC and an AC component, our voltages as well, so we have our VCE is going to have an AC and DC component as well as our base emitter voltage, VBE. So what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to take a look at an example where we're analyzing a single base resistor biasing circuit.